and welcome back to Planet Nibiru. Today we'll talk about the remake of the movie It. No spoilers, guaranteed. There's not like any time I've ever been in before. People die or disappear six times the national average. And that's just grown ups. Kids are worse. Way, way worse. <laughs> So, if you're like me, you're probably a bit on the fence about Hollywood remaking the Stephen King movie, It. To be fair, the first movie was made for TV in a two-night miniseries. So, technically, it's really not a Hollywood remake as it's never been offered on the big screen before. However, almost everyone who loves horror movies has seen the original version. I can't remember any other made-for-TV movie that so many people have seen and so many people are so passionate about. Can you? Let me know in the comments if you can think of one. I saw the movie as a teenager, and it scared the daylights out of me. Now, that is saying a lot for a made-for-TV movie. For it to be able to compete with Hollywood blockbusters, and be able to beat most of them for the scare factor and for the love and devotion of the public, that's pretty unheard of. It's been a staple for horror movie fans around the world for generations. In many ways, it has become a rite of passage, with some parents sharing it with their children. The original movie was just that good, and the book was even better. But, that is the case all the time anyway, so we can pretty much leave that out of the discussion. It's hard to name any movie that was better than the book. As I sit here making this video and I'm thinking about it, I can't think of a single movie that was actually better than the book. Seriously, I can't think of one. If you guys can think of any, please let me know down in the comment section because I'm drawing a blank right now. Anyhow, on to the movie. So the movie was very, very, very good. Very scary. Crazy scary. Even having read the book and seen the original movie countless times, this movie managed to be just plain scarier than the first. Pennywise was extremely scary. His character was well played by Bill Skarsgård in this reboot of the classic. He was even more dynamic than Tim Curry in this role, which is saying something in my opinion. The Losers Club was fairly well cast and did a good job of portraying the kids we know from the book and the previous film. However, there were a few differences that stood out. Without saying anything that would be looked at as a possible spoiler, I'll say that Jaden Lieber's portrayal of Bill's character was solid for the most part. However, I have to give it to Jonathan Brandis in the first movie for clearly being a better actor. I think the same can be said for most of the losers as well. The only two standouts, I feel, are the Eddie Kasbrack and Beverly Marsh characters, played by Adam Faisal and Emily Perkins. They just can't stand up to performances turned in by Sophia Lillis and Jack Dylan Fraser in the new movie. They really made the film much more interesting with their portrayals of these characters. Now, some of this can be attributed to the writing, of course, but I still feel like these kids really brought their A-game in this movie, and you'll probably be seeing a lot more from them in the future. If you go see the movie from a purist point of view, you may be a bit disappointed, as it's not a scene-for-scene -scene recreation of the original. In fact, some of the scenes aren't there at all, and other scenes have been inserted. The ways that Pennywise shows himself or reveals himself has been subject to change as well. And not in a bad way, just a different way. Again, certain scenes, his appearances differ from that in the original movie. But as you know, his nature is fear, so the changes are not deal breakers in any way. But don't go to the theater expecting a nostalgic scene for scene remake that celebrates the genius of the first movie. It is not that. It is certainly its own take on the story, and there are many differences that keep you interested as opposed to turning you off. I want to be clear on that because I was originally a bit surprised and maybe a little bit let down at some of the changes at first. But as the film went on, I realized that it wasn't a remake as much as it was a new telling of the story. So all in all, I would say that Pennywise is one scary ass clown as always. The Losers did a good job and the movie was a hit. 4 out of 5 planets on the Nibiru scale. If you haven't seen it yet, get out there tonight, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, and see this movie as soon as you can. 
It's going to be an instant classic, and I hope you guys enjoy it all as much as I did. Before I sign off, I'd like to take a quick moment to ask you guys to say a prayer, burn a candle, cast a spell, or do a dance for the folks in Florida and the Gulf Coast. It looks like Hurricane Irma is going to give that area a real beatdown in the next day or so. So please send some positive vibes to the folks in this path. It seems like these natural disasters are going to keep piling up in the future. With all of the things that we discuss on this channel, we don't often talk about preparedness and being ready to survive some of the cataclysms that we could face, and some of them that do happen to us on a regular basis. To that end, I've created an Amazon store with all of the most durable and dependable survival and safety items that I could find. I will be updating it regularly, so please check it out anytime you can think of. If you can think of any items that I don't have that you'd like to see me add, Drop me a line and send me a link to the item on Amazon and I will get it on the store. Let's get the word out and build a store that is designed to help people and get the best products quickly and easily. Thank you guys so much for all your support and please like, subscribe, and comment and we'll see you guys soon with another video.